Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict, the game that sucks your soul out. So, what I want to talk about today to start the week off with is actually going to be the new battleship that we had, which is called the Ark. It was introduced along with a weapon by the name of the... Yes, I completely forgot about what its name was. The Slug Torpedo. For all intents and purposes, it's better than the Rife in terms of damage per second, but I don't actually know what it does, because, well, this is this is actually me getting my first hands-on experience with it, so. This is the fitting I went with for the one that I produced. I have no idea what the actual fitting is for the one in their pre-fit. Oh, it's basically the same thing. Different shield, though. The reason I went with the level 2 is because I couldn't fit through level 1, so, yeah. Other than that, we have the new sentry for our base, so I can actually take a look at that really quick because I do have the module in the base. Though, again, I do, I do say that since they're not a reusable item prize, well, since they're a reusable item and not a blueprint, it's a little bit of a waste because, again, you're able to produce, what, four of them? Six of them. Okay. Now, for any of you who are wondering why I'm talking about this module, it won't make sense until I talk about, well, until the next video comes out, which was recorded before this. At the moment, I'm sick. The, this is after I've completed the grind in World of Tanks, and you, you can't really tell at the moment, but yes, I am sick. I've got a bit of a cough and whatnot. But for now, I want to focus on this. So... What is the Ark? What can it do? And yada yada yada. Well, right off the bat, I see 17,000 damage per second. Let's compare that to a switch at Mark V. Naturally, it has more weapons, so it's going to have more damage. Alright, so that's a good comparison. So, 17,000 damage per second. Uh, mass, its primary feature is speed, as you can see. Prime Shift. It has a 3.8% charge per second rate, and a 1.8 for defense, and it has a trigger threshold of 80%. It has a drain of 4% per second, and it drain oh. Starts after and delays after 10 seconds. Is that different for the other ones? No, it's 10% per second with a five second delay so this one was a four percent yeah so it, it it actually doesn't drain as quickly as they do uh, what about these little ones the breakers 4.7 2.7 six percent per second okay so it has the lowest currently I don't have a dead eye available or else I just check that real quick Okay, never mind. It has the second lowest. The lowest is this little one. What about carrier real quick? Nope. Okay. So it has the second lowest drain rate, so it can it can maintain a decent charge for a fairly long period of time after leaving combat basically and it begins to drain. It'll take five seconds for it to drain completely out of the 80% that it would be active for most of the duration, so that's pretty good. Uh, prime Shift Boosters. Increased effective maximum range, which means that this fitting is okay for the Mark 1, but at Mark 2 Plus you'll want your shield bypass and things like that because you'll actually be able to utilize the maximum range of those, but then you'll have high mobility, so unlike the dead eye where it's a bit of a slug that just kind of gets crushed this can move around quite easily and engage at the same ranges and for its active ability when it has two enemies in its firing arc it fires bolts at the enemy and nearby enemies the chain to surrounding enemies increasing in damage for each for 10 seconds chains five times and it increases damage by 30 percent per hit Huh, nice. Starts off with 4,000. Alright. 
enough jibber jabber, let's actually find a target. What would be a good target for it? Hmm. Let's go pay the Altarian Sector a visit real quick. Okay, we're here in the Bulwark 150 with the simple intention of showing what these things can do. So first thing you're going to notice, it has a longer range than its standard friends. It's also much more maneuverable. And that's kind of what I want. Definitely need to keep it at range relative to get picked apart very easily. Seems to hit pretty hard pretty well. I'll give it that. probably coin repair it after this and go test it on a few of the blueprint targets, like the one you have to attack the farm for itself in the first place, as well as its weaponry. But for the most part, this is basically what it does. And had these been caliber drivers when it went into the overdrive, it would have just uh, been able to use them with their maximum range, and that's about the only thing that's different from that and here. Oops. Well, I get one freebie cheap excuse for saying that it's destroyed because one, I dealt with the grand in World of Tanks. I got that all out of the way even after getting sick. Two, I'm sick, so I get a freebie for getting it blown up like that. Initial impression? Not half bad. I'm still going to stick with switches for the most part because I already have a massive number of them, but it'll be a good vessel to bulk up the fleets behind them once you can get it mark upgraded from what I could see. Other than that, that's about it. This this video is pretty short. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop off now. What do all of you think of the Ark? So far, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a good vessel? Do you think it's a bad vessel? What do you think about it, period? Just anything at all. Any thoughts. But that's going to do it for now, everybody. Be safe out there, my pack. Happy hunting. And as always, I'll see you later.